that was the worst game of football I've probably seen in my entire life. Worse than anything we saw in 2017. Worse than that game in 2018 where we got shut out. We didn't even score a point against the Titans. That was just terrible, terrible football, yo. And, like, I wasn't even going to make a reaction video. But this is actually mad funny. I just took out the garbage. I was just taking out the trash. And I literally, it popped into my head how trash of a game we had today. And I, and I was like, you know, I didn't even make the sort of, uh, you know, a thoughts, reaction vid to it. I just did not have the energy to do it. Was not in the mood, you know, it's just like you're so disgusted by what you see, you're like, you don't even want to think about it. Like, literally after the game, I just, you know, I hit one of my boys up. We just we just went and we watched one of our favorite shows, bro. Uh, we did that for about, up until basically a couple minutes ago, from when the game ended to then. So that's like, what, three hours, three and a half hours. Just get my mind off you. I, I know I took a shower, and I still couldn't wash off the stench of losing. You know what I'm saying? That's That permeates into your soul. That type of thing, man. Like, yo, the Giants are actually the worst team in football right now, yo. And we've had the worst record in football for the past three years. But over those three years, we were never actually the worst team in football. 2017, when we went 3-13, and the worst team in football was the 0-16 Browns. 2018, we went 5-11. and The only year that showed any type of promise, any type of improvement. We were, we were far from the worst team in football then. Last year, 4-12. and <laughs> Last year was disappointing, but once again, we were not the worst team in football. And then this year, where it's like without a doubt, I can't think of a team that's worse than us right now. Even the New York Jets, who I, at this point I'm going to stop making fun of because we're, we're basically the same as them. And also their fans are feeling the same pain that we're feeling. And I'm not even using my recording mic, by the way, because like, like I said, it's just impromptu. I wasn't even going to do one of these. And I'm just like, I need to get the thoughts out to you guys. I know you guys have been waiting for the reaction video either way. Um, so I'm using my uh, my headset mic. Hopefully the audio is fine. But even the Jets, man. Now, nah, we're worse than the Jets. At least the Jets put up 13 points against the 49ers last week. And that was with some of the starters in there for some of the game. We put up 9 points against the 49ers backups. Jarek McKinnon, who in my previous video I said we can't let him run all over us, ran all over us. Nick Mullins looked like an MVP level quarterback against our defense. And this game isn't even on our defense, but let me get my thoughts out on them real quick. I got annoyed with how they played in the second half, but I can't blame them. It reminds me so much of 2017. They just got so gassed out physically. Because the 49ers had the ball for 20 minutes in the first half. The Giants only had it for 7. So the defense got so gassed out physically, but mentally... You talk about where they are and their mental state at this point. At halftime, the offense, you know, basically squandered the game and lost the game. So many opportunities at halftime, the offense gave up. And that's in addition to the two games where the offense lost us and the defense was playing their minds out. You got to think about mentally where these guys are, you know what I'm saying? So it's like part of me doesn't want to blame them for that. And then the other part of me is like, go out there and play the full game. So that's really my only complaints about the defense. The offense is just trash. And Daniel Jones played bad today as well. I'm one of Daniel Jones' biggest supporters, but he was terrible today. Now, that doesn't mean I'm on the tank for Trevor train. You can have an opinion on a player. You could be like, you know what? This guy had a terrible game today. It doesn't mean that I want him off the team. It means that I want to see him actually improve. Unfortunately, what he's having, in my opinion, is a sophomore slump, which is something on any other team. <laughs> Any other player, there would be a lot to have a sophomore slump. It's part of the natural growth and progressions of a quarterback. It's just that you can't have that with this organization and this media, you know, this particular New York atmosphere. You're not allowed to have a sophomore slump. It's just the way it is. And he's going to be killed for it. And if his sophomore slump turns out to be really detrimental, who knows where he is at the end of the year or next year. And it's just like the offense is terrible. The wide receivers are all bad. You know what I mean? Darius Slayton, I've been saying since last week, I don't know whether it's him not getting open. I don't know whether it's DJ not throwing to him. I don't know whether it's Jason Garrett not calling plays for him. But Darius Slayton was once again missing in action, and he showed up towards the end as usual, as he did last week, showed up towards the end. But it was too late at that point. We were already down around 30. And even then, he had the drop or the fumble or whatever. And it's just like Evan Ingram, trash. I just want him off the team. 
I don't know, and this is where I'm very annoyed with Jason Garrett. I'm, I'm, I'm actually done with Jason Garrett. I don't like the way he runs the football because it's almost as if he doesn't want to run the football, never runs it on first down. He continues to prioritize using Ingram over Caden Smith, even though it's very clear at this point that Evan Ingram is inconsistent at best. And whether or not he's not calling enough deep plays, I don't know, but Darius Slayton isn't used enough, in my opinion. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done with Jason Garrett. And then the offensive line this game could really go, and they should just take a hike, bro. The offensive line this game, from the very beginning, you could go and watch back the stream with Kid Blue. I said from the beginning, they looked bad. They look bad in pass protection from the beginning of the game. And this is not Nick Bosa. You know what I'm saying? This is not D4. This is not the 49ers starting pass rush. The only starter they had out there today was Eric Armstead in terms of the pass rush. You know what I'm saying? So pass rush-wise, I was like, there's no reason for the offensive line to look as bad as they did today in pass protection. They actually look like they look better in run game. But that's not saying much considering they were the worst ranked you know, run game in the entire league. And then they just come out here and stink up the joint in pass protection too. That was the one thing they had down, and now all of a sudden they were terrible at it. And and I warned you all in my preview video about the 49ers middle linebackers. I said their middle linebackers are still healthy, and you'd be hard-pressed to find a better group than the 49ers have. And Fred Warner made them pay today with that interception, which, by the way, was just a bad boneheaded play on Daniel Jones's part. Going back to him, he had a bad game. Like... I can't defend boneheaded play after boneheaded play. At one point, you just got to stop making those plays and, and be better. But the game overall was just terrible. The game overall was terrible. I don't know. You know, I don't know what state the Giants are in right now, but they're the worst team in football. And I don't think, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it's close. I think we are, like, worse than the Jets. I think it's the Jets are actually better than us. You know, they put up a better fight. Um, which is uh, something I never thought I'd say. Like, I can't think of a team right now. The Bengals, which was a team I was confident in, even after last week's loss, I was like, yeah, we can still beat the Bengals. They played the Eagles to a standstill today. And they played the Browns very competitively last week. The Bengals look better than us. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what has to be done to fix it. I don't know if it can be fixed. All I know, we've been rebuilding for around three years now, and I'm starting to get tired of it i'm a very patient fan but you, you know your patient runs out especially when you're somebody like me that covers the giants 24 7 365 i, I don't want to say i'm a super fan or anything but I, I think i'm very close to that level because of how invested i am in it so i'm a fan too for all of you out there that you know come here and see me defending them and and you know you guys say i make excuses for them and whatnot i'm just calling it as it is i'm probably more invested than a good amount of you out there i feel i'm a fan too I feel what you're feeling right now, and I don't know. I don't know where we're at. You know what I'm saying? But this was a terrible game. I have no idea what's going to happen next week against the Rams, and I mean, that's just my unfiltered raw thoughts right there, man. Put yours down below.